It is time for Beckage from China. It is time for a new mini classic system from a friend from China. The new versions are out and did I didn't make a review about this one. No, I didn't because this one is the Super Nintendo version or the SNES mini classic from China with yes, a bit 8 bit games inside. So yeah, they still doing it. Hmm. So yeah, this is what we're going to get. Pretty damn basic box. And uh, I'm curious what are we going to get. Let's go! Alright, let's do a little bit of a review. What are we going to get within this small package? It comes with a very short composite AV cable. We have here, in my case, the European micro USB 5 volt adapter. System itself, a basic, very basic, cheap toilet paper manual from China. Toilet paper. And here we have the controller. It's an SNES ripoff controller. Totally useless because of course it's 8-bit game, so that means we have A, B, and we just have more turbo buttons. So A, B, turbo, turbo, and the bow above. Wow. Very clickish. And the shoulder buttons are also turbo buttons. So that's it. It's a wireless controller, so very nice. There's an improvement of the auto versions. Let's take a close look at the system. All right, let's take a close look at the system itself. It's not a 100%, uh, let's say, Chinese unique model. It's a little bit of a ripple for SNES, of course. Here we have the power button. Reset. At the back we are finding a micro USB and a headphone jack. The 2.5 inch version, so the smaller version. With composite out, the sticker at the bottom. And a little ID for powering you're powering on your system so yeah that's what we're going to get let's connect it to the television and let's see what happens i must say they are getting very creative with the menu sounds normally they're ripping off games but uh, adventure games oh, a lot of homebrew games but uh, maybe we're actually having the original mario bros on it dr mario adventure island sonic Right. Is the way going back to the main menu? No, there is no way. Reset. Can we go back? No, we cannot go back. Are there serious no way of going back or what? No, there's no way of going back. Not with the top button. No, there's sure is no way of going back in the main menu. Oh. Alright, let's do it this way. Holding the console, reset it every time. We're having fighting games, uh, turtles, double dragon, all your familiar games, Batman. I can't remember Batman is really a fighting game, but yeah, nevertheless. We're beating up people, so this thing is a fighting game. Kung Fu. Alright, reset. Sports games. Ah, uh, all the hot blood games. I like the idea behind that you can just uh, choose what kind of category you want, but it's not correctly categorized. Summer Carnival, I need to never know heard of it. So there are actually some good games on it, but you need to search for them. Racing. Side bike. 
No. No, reset. That's one puzzle. Rockman is not a puzzle game, it's an adventure game. So yeah, it's, it's, it's the idea behind it is not, it's okay that you have categorized systems, but why do we even bother adding categorized if not categorized correctly? It's one big fucking mess. Sorry to make, use the F word, but there's no way of putting it there, putting this. A lot of crappy games. Oh wait, we have Battle City, that one's cool. All right, let's go to the gameplay, people. First game, Turtles. Also, this system has a little bit of an interference. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but the microphone. TV. Never played this game only 8-bit. Eight, eight <laughs> oh, that sounds right. Bingo! Okay. How can you shoot? Oh my god, this is horrible. This game is freaking unplayable. Stop responding. It looks like it's a more than one input. The controller stopped working. Just like the sound. There's no music anymore. Horrible. Horrible. Hor hey! They managed to put Super Mario on it. It's unbelievable. Ooh, they are naughty. Mm, mm, mm. So not bad though. Let's 
play some UFO race. Seriously. A UFO making an uh, making an engine sound or an 8-bit engine sound. Or what just happened? Who came up with this? So for the final conclusion about the classic 8-bit FC TV game consoles. So let's talk about the controllers. The controllers are wireless, so that is an improvement. Um, they are not that horrible like previous versions. Did have a little sticky button problem sometimes. But an overall for a cheap system like this, not bad at all. But there is no way of connecting all the controllers. So if they get broken, you are having a big problem. You are done playing. The system itself, cheap feel. Whew, chemical plastic, of course. But the categorized games, it's one big nightmare. There's nothing categorized. They slapped some categorized system on it and just put the files in it. And there are some good games, but a lot of homebrew and a lot of crappy games. So if you look at the previous models, did they improve it? No, not at all. Not if you look at the games, not if you look at the amount of games, not if you, there is no HDMI port. So, and overall, no. I cannot recommend it. I'd really love to know what you think of this. Would you even buy something like this? Uh, this is not new, it is the, yeah, the newest version, but in overall it's still the same crappy yeah, system that they made in the last years. A little bit of a bummer. Wanna, yeah, wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and if you want to see more gameplay, check out my Wicked Gaming channel. Wanna thank you for watching again. See you next time. Bye bye.